I'm Jackie Dixon, and you're watching VLX TV. I'm at the top of Budapest, the capital of Hungary, in a beautiful spot called the Citadel. It's a little fort that's, of course, in ruins now, but at the top of the city, and we have a 360 view of all angles. Now, in Budapest, one side of the river is known as Buda, and the other is known as Pest, to keep things pretty simple. But from here, you can see all perspectives, and that's exactly what I want to talk to you about today. Perspective is an incredibly important thing because it dictates how you live the rest of your life. For the last couple days, I was feeling a little restless. So this morning, while my husband was still sleeping, which is a total role reversal because usually I'm asleep while he gets up and works out, I got up and went for a walk. I put on my Christian upbeat music and I came not quite to the top of this, we hiked this later today, but to the base of this. I just needed some kind of way to get out of my own head and refocus on what I know is important and what brings me peace and joy. Now if you're ever in a funk, here's my three-part recipe for immediately, or at least pretty quickly, getting out of it the right way. Now if you hear a lot of kind of new age advice about how to focus on what you're really going after or get clear on what you really want, a lot of it's very helpful but some of it can be a little misleading. So I want to make sure that you know the three things I always include whenever I need to go and get myself straight again so that you can stay on track and not be misled by something that might not be totally accurate. First of all, you have to include God in the picture. So when I need to get away and kind of get my head back in the game, I always pray first. And I consecrate the time to the Lord and submit myself to Him. I know that what He wants for me is a lot better for me than what I think I want in any given situation. Because He just knows so much more. He not only knows the whole situation, but He knows me better than I know myself. So the first thing I always do is say, Lord, this time is yours. My life is yours. I submit myself to you and I want what you want. I need you to help me clarify what's going on so that I can serve you better. Part two is I like to get away. And of course, as I always say, make sure you're in a safe place, no dangerous stunts here, but get away to a place I love to get up high because it really, very literally, gives me more perspective on what's going on. It kind of makes me feel like I've been pulled out of the kind of hustle and bustle of the city or whatever is going on in my life that's confusing me. And I really can kind of clarify when everything seems so much smaller and I honestly feel closer to God. I think there's a reason why in the Bible they say a lot of people went up on the mountain to seek God. You just, you feel a lot closer. Not that he's not with you when you're down in the valley, but somehow it just sets things a lot clearer. Another thing I love to do is include a little bit of exercise with it because those endorphins will help you get out of any funk a lot faster. So for the Citadel, fortunately, it's a huge hike to get up here and if I'm glistening with sweat, that's why. Even if you're stuck in a hotel room, a couple push-ups or squats or some power stretching or praise moves will really be all it takes in a lot of cases just to get your head and heart back in the game. The third piece, and it fits perfectly with this citadel, is to get a 360 view on your situation. So to take everything into account. A lot of times what some advice will say is to focus only on yourself and really what you want and you know you deserve it and you're worth it and that's all true. But there's a lot of other pieces in this game. There are the people and the relationships we have who we love and who love us. There's our calling to serve God first and foremost. There's our health, there's common sense. There's a lot of other pieces. So what I would suggest as a quick recipe to get yourself back in perspective is get away safely, maybe up high, do a little exercise on the way or when you get there, consecrate the time to God and resubmit yourself to Him and then consider all the angles. I pretty much promise you that God will come through and will clarify all the different pieces that you're kind of confused about and you will feel at the end of it a lot better, very refreshed and with some definite improved perspective. That's all for this week. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, share it with your friends and subscribe. And until next time, God bless you. Flex your muscle, Jackie. Oh, so strong. Hiked all the way up All here. the way up all here. All the way up here. My quads are so sore. <laughs>